Welcome to CNN. Today we'll be taking, talking about finals, winter formal, and songs, so stay tuned. Good morning, Titans. I'm Diva. And I'm Josie, and we're here under our knockoff California <laughs> Christmas trees. Now that Thanksgiving is finally over, we can finally talk about Christmas. Is it ever too early to get in the Christmas spirit? I think not. <laughs> wow, Josie's passionate about this one. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be interviewing Tesoro students on which of their friends would receive coal for Christmas. So let's go! Skylar, who do you think will receive coal for Christmas? I think Reagan will. Let's go find out who this Reagan is. I'm here with Reagan, who Skylar said would receive coal for Christmas. Reagan, how do you feel about that? Um, that's so not true. I've been on the good list all year long, and there's no way I'm like, no way I'm gonna get coal. Okay, okay, then who do you think will get coal for Christmas? A hundred percent Hallam. Mr. Hallam, there's a rumor that you're gonna get coal for Christmas. How do you feel about that? It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. It depends on which person you talk to. Like, if it's anybody in this class, especially Josie, after what I just had to tell her, I definitely think I'm getting coal We're just for Christmas. Say our source is anonymous, but do you have any suspicions as to who's going to get coals for Christmas this year? Definitely Josie. Well, apparently, Mr. Hallam thinks I'm getting coal for Christmas, which is totally not true, Mr. Hallam. Right there. Anyways, if anyone had to get coal for Christmas, I think it would be Troy. Troy, there's a rumor out there that you're getting coal for Christmas. How do you feel about that? I'd say that rumor is inaccurate and not telling of my character. I'm a good person, and I do not deserve coal. You heard it here first, folks. Well, Troy, who do you think is going to get coal for Christmas? Mm, I'd have to say Reagan is a good candidate for coal. Jada, which one of your friends do you think would get coal for Christmas? Probably Justine. Hey, Justine, who do you think is going to get coal for Christmas this year? Julianne. Okay. <laughs> Let's go find Julianne. Julianne, Justine told us you're getting coal for Christmas. Who do you think will get coal for Christmas? Um, I think Brayden's going to get coal for Christmas. Brayden, if you're watching this, you heard it here first. Wow, some people were not afraid to throw the shade. That rhymes. <laughs> I guess some people were not afraid of putting their friends on the naughty list. From the fake Christmas trees, I'm Diva. And I'm Josie, reporting, reporting for TNN. That was so rude. I, two people said I'm getting coal, and I'm... And there are a lot of votes towards you, Reagan. <laughs> I know. I thought Mr. Hallam was going to say Jillian. <laughs> 100% Hallam is getting it. At least he admits it. So. Yeah. Give it a couple days, and we'll see who gets coal. <laughs> well, I'm Reagan. I'm Ellie. I'm Jillian. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I hope everyone is studying up because it is finals week. You've got it, everyone. Three more days left of the semester. Finish out strong. And for the seniors, you only have one semester left. Winter Formal is the first Saturday back after break on January 8th. So buy your tickets now. They're getting expensive. So get on those fancy dresses and nice suits and be ready to party. Elf is most definitely my favorite Christmas movie, and I know Jillian loves it too. That's all I need to say. Roll the video. Are you looking for a new holiday recipe this year to share with the whole family? Well, today I'm with Jazzy over Zoom, and she'll be teaching me how to make the world-famous pasta from the movie Elf. Let's go see how to make a new holiday treat. First, boil the pasta. Then add some salt. Now drain the pasta. Next, break up some Pop-Tarts. Then add the candy of your choice. Lastly, add the maple syrup. Maple syrup? Maple syrup. And now for the taste test. Mmm! So good! 
so so cool. Mmm. Thanks, Jazzy, for teaching me that new and yummy recipe. I hope everybody else has happy holidays this year. I'm Jillian, reporting for TNN. I was like gaggy while watching. No, actually, no, actually, like, please explain. No, say what you want, but the pop tarts just added a little like crispiness to like the mm. pasta, <laughs> and then like the little M and M's and like marshmallows. Okay, you're done. You're good. done. It was okay, good. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's all I have for my portion of the show. Now over to Ellie with current events. Thanks, Megan. As Regan said earlier, it's finals week. Good luck to everyone and study hard. Whether your version of studying is practicing terms on flashcards or watching Netflix all day, make sure to be prepared. Winter formal! The prices go up to $90 with ASB and $100 without ASB on December 17th. I know you don't want to hear this or get a stick up your nose, but remember that you need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test before the dance. Now, I don't really understand why there's a national day for Alabama, but apparently today is that day. I hope you Alabamians are celebrating your special day with your song, Sweet Home Alabama. Roll tight, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sad. Today is the last waste a minute of your time of the year. Here is John and Troy answering the question, would you rather be an elf or Santa and why? Um, I definitely say I'd rather be Santa Claus. Mm, that's funny. I'd rather be an elf. Mm, that makes sense because I'm an alpha and you're and not. I am, in fact, a beta. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I feel like I'd, do, I'd be really good at just working one night every single year and mm. then the rest of the year, like the rest of the year, yeah. just doing nothing. And I feel like I'd be really good at doing all of his work for him while he takes all the credit and eats all the cookies and kind of just gets all fed. And then yeah, I mean, like, like, it's like similar to real attack. life, yeah, but also really. like not. Yeah. Cause yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Santa. You okay, John? I'm an elf, I guess. No. All right, yeah, uh, that's our minute, guys. Thank Wait. you. John doesn't seem too happy about being an elf. Jeez. I guess he doesn't like that he's shorter than Troy. No. Did, did anyone just not notice, like, Gavin's that's just standing there? Maybe he's going <laughs> through something. Uh, well, <laughs> God bless Gavin's heart. <laughs> we all have those people that give the absolute worst gifts. Here's Dragon and Skylar asking students around campus what their worst Christmas gift was. Good morning, DeSoro! I'm Reagan. And I'm Skylar. Reporting, reporting for, for TNN. TNN. We all know the holidays are coming up. And Christmas entails for some emotion hiding. So let's go see what everyone's worst gifts were. Um, the worst Christmas gift I probably got was like a pair of socks that was like really ugly. From one of my grandparents, I got a gift card to P.F. Chang's. Uh, an iPhone case that wasn't even my phone case, and I told them my phone. So what was the worst gift you've ever received? Well, me. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. My friend gave me his Wi-Fi password on a line sheet of paper for Christmas before. Kidney stones. <laughs> uh, probably a shattered phone. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want that either. <laughs> Um, I think it was when one Christmas I received this journal from my aunt and it said for my beautiful 13th daughter, even though I'm 15 when I got it. Yeah, those were pretty bad, not gonna lie. Skylar, what was your worst gift? My grandparents get me some pretty ugly Christmas PJs every year, so that would probably be it. What about you? That's honestly a mess. I get some pretty ugly Christmas pajamas as well. Well, I'm Reagan. I'm Skylar. Reporting for TNN. Okay, thank you. Thinking about it, actually, my worst gift last year, I got like a used bottle of like shower gel. Ew. Like as a white elephant nope, gift? No, nope, no, nope. Like it was like it was like opened. Why? Yeah. Ew. When I say it was my worst gift I've ever received, I don't think anything could top that. Ooh. I would not <laughs> want that either. <laughs> That's all I have for my portion of this show. Let's move to Jillian to give you a rundown for sports for the week. Thanks, Ellie. Attention to Soro. Get you, get you, get you head in the game with boys basketball. They have an away game tonight at 7 p.m. against Sigerstrom. Good luck, boys. Ladies basketball has a game away Saturday against El Dorado. Dribble away the competition, ladies. 
Get ready to stuff your faces with candy canes and Christmas ham because track has practice over winter break. So don't worry, eat a lot and keep an eye out for the Canvas email on more information to come. Go! Boys soccer has the game Friday against the Big Bulls, El Toro. Ladies soccer is also kicking their way to the top with a score of 3-0 so far. They play against Capo Valley Cougars, rar. That's all I have for sports today. Now on to Reagan to finish off the show. Actually, before we finish off the show, we have a special surprise for all of you guys. Here's a couple of our TNN carolers ready to bless your ears with their beautiful voices. He's got a really good song for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Roll the clip. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Time for toys and time for cheer. We've been good, but we... Okay, so wow. that was beautiful. Ooh, that reminds me of like the kindergartners where you'd lose, you would like learn how to do like your, this is the book, this is how we read. <laughs> so here's I some more um, Christmas carolers for you. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, wait, none of you have even begun this year. Why should we keep singing? Honestly, we shouldn't. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, well, those are some amazing singers. My ears definitely feel blessed. What about you? That's one way to call it. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting the uh, cutoff at the end of... The last song? It's okay. <laughs> I feel like they're going through it, especially Gavin over there. I don't know if you can see him in the corner. We're all going through it, but it's okay. It's almost break, guys. We got it. We got it. We Finish got out it. strong, baby. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to your one and only source of Titan News. I hope everyone has a wonderful two-week break and happy holidays. Have a follow-up Friday. Woo!